What about an historical recipe? Yes, I love history and uh, everything what is related. And this one is during the year 1800, during a big battle. But even in those dark moments, we are thinking about food. Yeah, I could explain you, but I know somebody who can do better than me because he was there on the spot. <laughs> You thought I had my complex, huh? <laughs> I'm Napoleon the First. You want to know why I have my hand here? Because I'm hungry. Oh yes, I want to eat. Yeah, today, the 24th of June, 1800. We are at the brinks of a big battle in Marengo, in Italy next to Genova. The Austrians are there and they've got 38,000 men and we have only 25,000. They have 180 cannons and we have only 15. That's gonna be a battle. But I have my plans. But first, I have to eat. And my cook is not there today, so I have to do it myself. And we're gonna call it the poulet marengo. We've got mushroom from the battlefield. And for this recipe, we need some shallots as well. We need some uh, bay leaf dry wine, white wine, a little bit of flour, some tin, stock, and uh, some tomato from Italy that I took next door. And of course, the chicken from the farm next door also. <laughs> I forgot something, wait a minute. Okay, we can go. And the most important, my cognac, with my pitcher on it. <laughs> but I don't drink it now. Everything is there in my recipe. So now, follow me to victory. Here we are, in front of the stove. The enemy is there. We're going to control them. Thing is on, it has to be hot. It's a hot spot. When it's gonna be hot, then we're gonna put the olive oil inside there. Ah. Just a few seconds to get out and then I put the chicken in. Looks like the battle it did start very good because the Austrian they attack us in the morning. We were not awake. We didn't even had breakfast. But we fought. We fight, we fight. And, let them. and slowly we put him them into fire like this. Now we're going to add into the battle the shallots, the garlic, and the parsley. So 
but that's not enough. We're gonna put a little bit of flour. the salt in there and of course pepper et les tomates Everything is mixed. Maintenant, time for thym and laurier. It is basil leaf and uh, thym. Now we're gonna add the stock. That's gonna surprise them. Fifteen minutes before the end of the battle, we're going to add the mushroom and the cognac. A votre santé. This way without the lid, so it reduces a little. Let me think, let me think. Napoleon is thinking. We have to prepare the battlefield because it's gonna happen right here. by surprise in the morning without a breakfast. Not easy. But we fought back. And yeah, the battle goes on. But then the enemy also screamed for victory too soon. We still had a few meal in our bag. And we succeed. Victoire! Pour nous. This is the result. Now we can raise the flag. A nos enfants de la patrie. And if you don't mind, I would like to eat now. Hmm. It's 
still is a good battle. This is the history and the recipe of the poulet marengo. Oh, yeah.